Hey, what is up YouTube? And in today's jailbreak status video, we are going to be taking a look at some of the recent developments within the jailbreak community, as well as discuss the next iteration of iOS 10.3.3 and its relation to jailbreaking. <laughs> So, earlier this week, Apple seeded a new beta of iOS 10.3.3 to developers. It has been in beta since May 16th, 2017, and as a recap, iOS 10.3.3 isn't expected to add too many major outward-facing changes to the OS. Meaning, aside from three new wallpapers to the iPad Pro, Apple hasn't added any new features for the users. They are primarily focusing on under-the-hood performance and security updates. That being said, however, this could be the final version of iOS 10 that is released to the public before iOS 11 launches this fall, so it makes sense that Apple is taking some time to fix all the bugs with it. Since it is speculated that this release is centered around security and performance updates, it's unclear at the time if this will hinder or excel the release of an iOS 10 jailbreak. We'll get into some of these details later on in this video, but for now, let's take a look back at last year. In comparison, iOS 9.3.3 was expected before the release of Pandu's jailbreak to be the final version of iOS 9, and in fact, it was supposed to be centered around security performance and under the hood improvements rather than new features, just like iOS 10.3.3 this year. It had five total betas released over a three month span between May and July of 2016. My point being, Apple took a fair amount of time to release it and we ended up with a very stable version of iOS 9 that Pangu decided to release a jailbreak for. As we know, Apple responded to this with iOS 9.3.4, which effectively patched the security vulnerability that Pangu exploited to get the 9.3.3 jailbreak. It ended up that 9.3.5 was the final version of iOS 9, which patched even more security vulnerabilities but again to my original point, we had 9.3.3, which was very stable. Jumping back to this year, we in the jailbreak community have yet to receive an official non-beta version of a jailbreak for iOS 10. The latest and only jailbreaks available have been beta versions of the iOS 10.1.1 jailbreak for the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, as well as the 10.2 jailbreak for many of the other 64-bit devices. In fact, we have yet to hear much of anything from many of the popular well-known jailbreak teams such as Pangu, which is most recently known for the iOS 9.3.3 jailbreak, but that is not uncommon. Pangu in the past has remained silent right up until they released a jailbreak to the public. This year pertaining to jailbreaks of iOS 10 has been vastly different to past years for a few reasons. We first off, as I previously stated, have not received a final version of a jailbreak at all this year that is not considered to be in beta. Taking into account that iOS 11 is scheduled to be released later this fall, we may in fact never see one for iOS 10. The iOS 10.2 jailbreak was far better than nothing, but it still however has some flaws such as slowing down your iDevice, granted when jailbreaking that is bound to happen to some extent regardless. But secondly, this year is unique because we have been presented with a leaked video of the Pangu team demoing an iOS 10.3.1 jailbreak at a conference back in April, so we know they are working on something in the background. Three images and a video were leaked to the public of the team presenting what looks like Cydia running on at the time the latest version of iOS being 10.3.1. So just to refresh ourselves, I'm going to play the 10 second video that was leaked to the public and then display some of the images that go along with the video. 这我不知道，这个 so from the video we can't see much but the images explain a lot more images first surfaced on a Chinese blogging website named Weibo allegedly from Min Zing's account who I've talked about in previous videos is a key player associated with the Panku jailbreak team and is heavily involved with iOS security and new jailbreak developments Thus, if the source is accurate, this is a very trustworthy piece of information provided to the community. So, taking a closer look, the demo was performed at the privately hosted conference named Janus, held at the Expo Avenue in Shanghai on April 25th of 2017. We assume the jailbreak presented will work with the iPhone 7 and other decently new 64-bit devices, just like the current iOS 10.2 jailbreak. It should work on all iOS versions leading up to 10.3.1, that is, if this jailbreak is ever released to the public at some point in the future. Unfortunately, demonstrating a jailbreak is not the same as committing to a public release. We have seen jailbreaks in the past, like the iOS 9.3.4 jailbreak, be demoed but were never in fact intended to be released to the public and accordingly never was. In reality, all we confirm as fact is what is displayed in these three images and the video. The most important fact being that it is possible to jailbreak an iPhone 7 on iOS 10.3.1 and that the Pangu jailbreak team has successfully done this. Now, let's take a breather. iOS 10.3.3 is right around the corner from being released to the public, and we've yet to hear any update from any jailbreaking team, including Pangu, on future developments on an iOS 10 jailbreak. 
The previously stated jailbreak demo happened roughly two months ago and this jailbreak has yet to see the light of day, meaning one of three possibilities is likely to happen. One, the jailbreak is never going to be released to the public, this option being everyone, including mine's least favorite scenario. Secondly, the team still could be working out bugs or may have run into roadblocks with iOS 10.3.2, which will exist in 10.3.3 and future versions of iOS, and thus the team is working out these flaws and will eventually, at unknown time, release the jailbreak for iOS 10. But the most likely possibility of this jailbreak ever being released will be once iOS 11 is ceded to the general public. Because we have said in the past, timing is everything when it comes to jailbreaking. It is all about releasing the jailbreak when the timing is right in order to have the most amount of people who want to jailbreak be allotted the opportunity to jailbreak, as well as remain on that jailbreak for the longest amount of time. Releasing a jailbreak now would not be ideal since iOS 11 is on its way to come out this fall, and new jailbreaks, especially now, are becoming harder to reproduce iOS 10 being a perfect example of this issue considering the fact that we have yet to receive a stable jailbreak from Luca, Pangu, or any jailbreak team for that matter. Now, as a slight glimmer of hope, aka kind of looking at the glass half full, it's the jailbreaking community, and anything can happen. Pangu has remained quiet in years past, right up until they released their jailbreak, so this lack of updates is not surprising. Furthermore, Pangu has been known in the past to release a jailbreak on the most stable form of an iOS version. iOS 10.3.3 will definitely be used to smooth out many of the performance bugs that iOS 10.3.2 currently has. Additionally, iOS 10.3.3 may be the last version of iOS 10 that is released to the public. Thus being somewhat contradictory to what I said before, may be a great opportunity for Pangu to reach a large amount of iOS 10 jailbreak users in time before iOS 11 is released. Again, playing the devil's advocate, Apple would most likely respond immediately to the jailbreak, patching it for future versions of iOS 10 and future versions of iOS in general being betas of 10.3.3 and iOS 11. That is why, as of today, it is unclear if Pangu will ever drop a jailbreak for iOS 10 or wait until iOS 11 is released and release the jailbreak once it is ceded to the public. As of now, the best policy is to stay on the lowest possible firmware that you can in order to ensure that you have the best chances of having a future jailbreak support your iOS version. As to no surprise, I would suggest if you were on iOS 10.2 to by no means upgrade now to a new iOS version as you already have a version of iOS that can be jailbroken, even if it is beta jailbreak. If you have a device that is on a later firmware, I would suggest to stay on pre-iOS 10.3.2, meaning iOS 10.3.1 or earlier, due to the fact that Apple is constantly rolling out new patches for vulnerabilities that jailbreak teams have yet to even find out themselves. In this case, for example, with the current version of iOS being 10.3.2, Google's Project Zero discovered and reported 16 security flaws, 8 of them which could have led to a potential jailbreak. Furthermore, iOS 10.3.3 is not expected to add many new features aside from three new wallpapers to the iPad Pro, and it is speculated that the update will mostly pertain to fixing security and performance updates. This, as explained in this video, could go either way to help or hurt the jailbreak community. The release could either further secure iOS, thus making it harder to jailbreak, or at the same time it could increase its performance and stability, making it more likely a jailbreak team will release a jailbreak for this iOS version. So once again, just to reiterate, I would suggest to stay away from iOS 10.3.2 and definitely steer clear of iOS 10.3.3 until we have further developments that suggest that we should update to those firmwares. Ideally, I would not update to a new version of iOS until a jailbreak is released for it in order to ensure you will have the option to jailbreak your device. That being said, it's more and more common for Apple to immediately patch a new jailbreak within a few days of it being released, meaning you will have roughly a week to update your device to the version of iOS that supports a jailbreak once it is released. We saw a great example of this as well with iOS 9.3.4 being rolled out which pretty much solely focused on patching the vulnerability which allowed the iOS 9.3.3 jailbreak to be possible. This means for the jailbreaking community we have to stay on top of when a new jailbreak may be coming out and thus this is one of the biggest reasons why we do this series. But just to reiterate, do not get locked out of jailbreaking because you updated to a new iOS version too early before a new jailbreak was released. As of now, our best hope for a new iOS 10 jailbreak that is not in beta stage is for Pangu to release a stable jailbreak for iOS 10.3.3, which in theory should run much like the one they demoed at the Janus conference back in April. If at all possible, stay on pre-iOS 10.3.2, and if you happen to be on iOS 10.2 or lower, stay there as well, and in the meantime, check out the beta jailbreak available for you right now. Well guys, I know it wasn't the best news to hear today from a jailbreaking stance, but I am hopeful we'll be presented with a new jailbreak opportunity in the near future. To learn more about this year's jailbreak updates, you can check out some of my previous videos which cover this entire year's developments, and as always, stay tuned for future updates such as new iOS releases and what those will mean for the future of jailbreaking. In the end, thank you guys again for watching, we really appreciate your support of the channel. 
And that just about wraps up this video for today. So until next time, this is Tony signing out.